Uh, good evening, everyone, and happy fall to you. The rain has just begun to fall in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm reveling in the glory. I've uh, stepped outside here to have my evening cup of coffee, and I had this thought I just wanted to share. <clears throat> I was sitting inside and I was thinking about personality types um, and just how different we are and uh, I thought, you know, how can I put this in a way that's more open to everyone. It's going to rain right now, heavy, so it might be kind of loud, so hopefully it's not too distracting. I don't know. Some of these things are hard to explain. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about all the different personality types and the way that they're viewed by society. Now there's the, you know, the philosophical view of people. There's the astrological view of personality types. There's the uh, psychological view, I guess, of personality types. And every group has their own own different idea about where these traits come from as a human. Some of the more ancient traditions believe that these are things that are inherited through our birth time and date, you know, such as astrology. Uh, others, such as, you know, uh, psychology, psychiatry, tell us that it's from our experiences as well as our genetics. So, or I should say, you know, I should say the psychiatrist's job would be to say that it comes from personality traits, and then there's the doctor, even further complicates things by telling us which is genetic, but... And my point of all that is to say that we're... There are many different aspects to who we are. It's not just where you grow up, it's not just what's in your genes, and it's not just the time of your birth or when you were born, it's all of those things, and they seem to all have an effect in their own way. And this is my round of long way of saying that we need to accept different personality types in people rather than trying to force each other to fit some sort of standard that we need to uphold or we feel like we uphold. Um, I guess I'll give you an example so I can explain myself better. Um, let's say me. I'm a very intense person. Um, I'm very fast taste at everything I do. I like to get shit done quick. I'm always move, move, move quick, and I kind of have this 20% rule lately I've been following. It's 20% slower, <laughs> and I'm less prone to break things or drop things, you know, or be clumsy. Uh, but it's a trait that I've always had. I, I get really into something, and I get really intense into it. I might even, you know, I'll, I'll sweat and get into it. And I've tried to think, well, you know, how do I control these, like, uh, you know, certain aspects of myself so I'm not so intense, because when I'm thinking, when I'm really intense into something, sometimes it's like a conversation. When it gets really into it, you're not really thinking about what you're saying, and you might say something you don't want to say. Well, if you're really intense into doing something, you may do something you didn't want to do, or maybe you uh, hastily finish something, or maybe I'll just, you know, I don't know. There are a million different things. But my mind races, and I've learned to embrace that raciness. Uh, embrace my ADD, if you will. <clears throat> and I started thinking about all the couples out there, all the mothers and daughters and sons and fathers and cousins and people who are trying to teach each other how to be different than they are. As if, and, and they are all in good intention often. And this is kind of the, the scary part, is that people are trying to tell others, you can be this way, you can live this type of a, you know, life when it's maybe not in the cards for certain people. Uh, certain people don't have those desires to, say, live like another person. Um, maybe they don't have the old traditional value type system. Maybe they're not into structure. Now, some people are very into structure, and some people are very into freedom and, and moving about. I mean, I'm a philosopher and a thinker. I'm a seeker. It's just my path. I know people who want nothing to do with knowledge at all. Um, I've had friends that want nothing to do with knowledge, you know. Um, I mean, everybody likes to learn a little bit, but, you know, 
the degree of knowledge that's available to us today, you know, it makes me wonder why more people aren't seeking it. But I understand that it's not some people's path. So I don't push that or say, oh, you should be smarter, nor do what I expect a person to tell me that I need to be dumber or <laughs> stop researching, although, you know, people have. Uh, <clears throat> but we are what we are, and we ultimately answer to no one but ourselves and, well, the universe, if you will. But uh, as far as inhumanity, there is no other human that controls our actions or who we are. We're fully responsible for who we are. We're responsible for who we've become, the decisions we've made to get here. And when I hear people placing blame on, uh, you know, their parents for the way they are, um, there's the same condition of blaming the government for the way we are, you know, it becomes a disease of paranoia. And uh, it's kind of a bummer to see sometimes. Well, I bid you all farewell, and I hope you have a great evening, afternoon, day, whatever it is. Another angle to consider there, you know. Um, you may be in a different mood than me. When you're watching this video, you may be angry, you may be happy uh, about, you know, things generally in your life. If you run across a particular subject or video in a different time in your life, you may be more receptive to it. Or if somebody is trying to convince you or show you something, uh, you may be more receptive to it a year or two down the road. I think it's one of the most important things is a message of tolerance that I'd love to you know, be able to convey to people that to take a breath whenever you get frustrated with someone and ask yourself, is this person doing anything that's really bad or are they just different? You know, is this pers person trying to physically or mentally actually harm me? Or are they just defending their position or feeling a certain way or strongly about something or maybe they're misinformed? And I think that the more understanding we have about one another and why we do the things we do, the easier it'll be for us to stop pointing the finger at others and realize that we are fully in control of our destiny. But at the same time, all these different personality types out there, all the different types of people are needed to keep this thing operating. This, not this system in play, but our system the human system, what makes us, us, and I like humans, so, there. <laughs>